on A Level Results Day, two things are going to happen. Now, these two things are linked, but you cannot work out what one thing is from the other thing. So, two things are going to happen. One thing is you're going to find out whether you've got into university or whether you've gone into college. And the second thing is you're going to find out your A Level Results. Now, I've done a whole separate video on kind of like the plan B that is absolutely essential for A Level Results Day. So, go and watch that one as well. But you need to do two things on Ada Results Day. So one of them is log into UCAS. Now, every single year, loads and loads of people try to log into the same website on the same day and it crashes. Um, so just keep going. Um, you know, either keep going or be patient and wait until later. But then that interferes with plan B. So be patient with this. Um, there is no point trying to log in early. It won't work. But just like... Be patient and then that will tell you whether you've got into university or not, whether you've got into your firm choice, whether you've got into your insurance choice. That will not tell you your A-level results. So the other bit of information that you get is your A-level results. Now these, depending on exactly your school or college, whether you're going in school, whether you're going it by email, whether you're getting it by post, um, will generally come out about the same time. You might have some schools that aren't opening till like 10 o'clock, because that's torturous. But generally, they're going to be open pretty early in the morning. So your A-level results will obviously tell you what um, A-level results you got in shocking news. Now, this is the point at school where you can sort out any problems like list exam papers or remarks or anything like that. But they will not tell you whether you've got into university or not. So, thinking back, trying to remember, my offer for Bath was A-A-B. Now, when I got my um, results... I did not get AAB, I got BBC and a D as well. Um, obviously, that is way below, and I was devastated, because um, I really, really wanted to go to Bath, um, and I did not get the grades to get in to Bath. But somehow, they still accepted me. So even though the A-level results I got were way less than what I needed to get into university, I still got into my first choice university, even though I was way below. So just if on results day, if you just look at that set of overall grades, um, you cannot assume that you have or you haven't gone to university. UCAS will be the one to tell you that on the day. So um, if you go to school and see your overall grades, don't get disheartened, don't assume you haven't gone to university. You're going to need to be checking UCAS to find that information out. And then if you haven't, we need to be switching to plan B, which is going through clearing. And again, I've done a whole separate video and loads and loads and loads of videos and playlists on how to go through clearing. Um, but good luck for Results Day, guys. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, doing loads and loads of lives, answering as many questions as I can for you. So together, like, we can do this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.